Let's say people when we say they know they feel use their body do plenty of things, don't join body for technology worker. When we say plenty of people don't give from where where. I will talk talk person at the bank here, do know ye get more yarn for that matter. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is a plan of the international community towards a world where everyone is given opportunities, regardless of their physical conditions. In line with this, projects enable Africa, in partnership with the United States Consulate, organize a competition with the aim to deploy tech solutions to challenges being faced by persons living with disabilities. The Inclusion Hackathon basically is to ensure that we bring developers together to bring tech solutions for persons with disabilities. So the idea is to ensure that tech solutions are designed to solve certain problems for people with disability. For individuals who are not disabled, technology helps to get things easier. But for those who, are, who have disability, it goes a long way. Technology goes a long way to make life easier for them, to make things possible for them. These kinds of programs like we're doing today really are trying to foster and sponsor innovative solutions from those who are either living with disabilities themselves or are close to people who are, who really understand what are the challenges and what are the possible solutions. Some of the competitors who live with disabilities spoke on the constant discrimination against persons with disabilities and also why they joined the organization. Um, I decided to join to, you know, learn uh, graphic design because I've been trying to learn on my own, but it's been difficult. So. The platform was, was, was good enough to assist, so I had to, I had to take the opportunity. Well, I just take it that they are, it's um, because of ignorance. That's why they still discriminate, discriminate against persons with disability. And I also understand that even outside the country, it's the same. So I really cannot blame them for that. I think with time, they will outgrow the uh, discrimination and then decide to accept us the way we are. The experts also identified ways through which persons living with disabilities could begin to participate in leadership and politics. Our role is simply, I think, in making awareness um, of you know, the role that disabled people can play in society and the economic sphere, in the political sphere. And by doing programs like this, it shows the contributions that people can make in many different areas. It also helps employers and government officials understand how to better accept the disabled into the workplace and into education. But at the end of the day, it's those young Nigerians that you just met out in that room who are gonna make the difference. And if we can support them and their efforts and their ideas, that's our role. People living with disabilities might be unable to carry out some activities independently, but with this technological initiative, life becomes easier for them. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adibanke Odunuyi.